you are probably using cloud code and codecs like everyone else. But what if I told you there is a way to combine them that unlocks a whole new level of AI coding? In this video, I'm going to show you a real demo using cloud skill templates, cloud code, codecs, and of course, Virover MCB to turn your workflow into something that is way smarter than you expect. Once you see it, you won't be coding the same way anymore. So let's get started. So how can we integrate cloud code and codex in the same workflow? So on the diagram that I drew here, we can see that for cloud code, we'll be using it to you know make plans and implement the code. But for codex, we use it to validate the plans and the code that are generated by cloud code. We'll be using Byrover as a shared memory layer for both cloud code and codex. To be more specific, we're using cloud skills for this workflow. So as you can see here, I have a dedicated repo for uh, cloud code and codex collaboration. And uh, we have really detailed instructions for how cloud code and codex will be communicating with each other. As you can see here, after cloud code has generated the plan, it can directly ask codex to review the plan and after Codex has reviewed the plan, it can give the feedback to uh, Cloud Code to make any necessary improvements. So how can we set up the skill inside of your project? It's very simple. First of all, just clone the repo into your project here. The next thing that you want to do is inside of uh, .cloud folder, you want to create another folder named skills. And you want to drag the repo inside of the skills folder, just like that. And because it is a GitHub repo, uh, so you want to delete some unnecessary files like uh, license and the readme files because cloud code won't be needing these two files. So I'm going to delete that. So now when you uh, start cloud code, you can ask that if uh, cloud code has the skill and it says yes. So everything is properly set up. So in this video, I'll be using my personal project uh, to give you a better understanding about this workflow. So uh, it is very simple. I took inspiration from Notebook LM to generate a uh, workspace uh, where you can upload files and have the AI uh, summarize the content. And the feature that I want to make in this video is convert my conversations into diagrams. You can see that I can generate podcasts uh, based on my conversations. So I want to do the same thing with diagrams and graphs. Back in Cloud Code, I just gave it really detailed instructions for my uh, future. And the most important thing is that I tell cloud code to yield a cloud skill that I have just shown earlier. And the first use case that I want to demonstrate is, you know, have cloud code to generate the plan and codex to review that plan. So now I just need to hit enter and let codex and cloud code to do its job. So after reading through the code base, Cloud Code has just used part of a restore knowledge tool and stored the plan into five separate parts. As we can see here in the memory store, it divided the plan uh, into five parts so that Codex can review the plan. Right now, uh, Codex is running in the background inside of Cloud Code itself. So you don't have to run Codex on your own. Cloud Code has already done that for you. So Codex has just completed the review and stored it inside of Byrover. At the same time, Cloud Code retrieved the same plan inside of Byrover. So you don't have to run multiple agents at the same time manually because with Byrover, everything is very streamlined and the review as well as the plans are retrieved directly from Byrover. And this is the review from Codex. Now I can use this as well as the original plan to start implementing my feature. So that's the first use case, cloud code for planning, codex for reviewing, and most importantly, Biober for context communication. Okay, I think cloud code has just finished its feature. Let me test it out first. Again, it is my personal workspace. And for all of my chats, when I click on the option here, I can see I can generate diagrams with it. Now, let me click on it. And well, there is an issue with my code. So I think it's time for codex to review the code. So that leads me to the second use case of this cloud skill, which is letting Codex to review the code from cloud code. So it works similarly to the first use case. So the first thing that cloud code does is, you know, uh, store uh, the implementation into Firebird so that later on Codex can review the implementation after retrieving the memories. Okay, I think it's done storing the information into Firebird. The second thing is also similar to the previous use case is going to run codex inside of this section. So as you can see here, 
uh, codex is running in the background uh, with cloud code. Again, this can take a little bit of time because, you know, codex needs to read through all of the implementation and it needs to retrieve memory from Viable. So I'll come back when it's done with its review. Okay, I think it's done here. As you can see that Codex has reviewed the implementation and pointed out some of the issues that Cloud Code has made. And Cloud Code goes on to fix the issues. Finally, we have completed the feature. But again, we have to make sure that there is no bugs for this implementation. So I need to go back to my workspace and I'm going to generate the diagram again. When I hit generate the diagram, and I go to the diagram section. There is one diagram showing up here. And when I click on it, I can see that uh, we have a pretty uh, beautiful diagram. I can click on the notes and the children notes will show up. Definitely not a perfect looking diagram, but you know, we still need to work on it. But hopefully I have demonstrated the second use case where I use a cloud code to implement our feature and codex to review the bugs or any issues with the implementation and it worked out just fine. So if you think this video is helpful, please also check out other videos in our channel. Thanks for watching.